learn the order of operations. Okay? What I mean by order of operations is each of these are operations. Multiply is a uh, mathematical operation. Divide is an operation. Add is an operation. Subtract is an operation. Okay? Today we're going to learn what order are you supposed to do those operations. Which one comes first? If I've got four of them in a problem, which one do I do first? Okay? I have a way for you to remember this. P, P, if I said PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Might be how you learned it. Okay? Now, the, the order goes parentheses. You always do your parentheses first. Then your exponents. Then you multiply if there's any multiplication. Then you divide if there's any division. Then you add if there's any addition. And then you subtract if there's any subtraction. Okay? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. The only reason for saying please excuse my dear Aunt Sally is so you'll remember P means parentheses. E means okay. M D A S so if you go in that order, you'll never miss a problem. Now, what if your problem doesn't have parentheses? Then you just look for exponents. What if it doesn't have exponents? That's right. And you just continue to move on down the page until you've completed all of your, what are these? Operations. Okay. Now, number four here is very simple. Okay. First, I look for parentheses. Are there any parentheses? Yes, so all I do is simplify the parentheses. I work it out. 7 minus 4 is? 3. three. three. Okay? Now, I want to keep 3 and rewrite the problem 2 times 3 divided by 6. Now, at this point, what do I do next? Multiply. Multiplication. Is there any multiplication? Yes. 2 times 3 is? 6. And 6 divided by 6 is? 1. Okay. So if you follow your order of operations, if you do it in the correct order, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract, you'll get 1. Now, what if I didn't do it that way? What if I did 2 times 7 is 14 minus 4 is 10, 10 divided by 6 isn't 1, is it? So you see why it's important to do it in the correct order. Let's look at this next one. Now guys, anytime you see this, what is this thing? A bracket. This is a bracket. Treat it exactly the same as a parenthesis. Okay? But you got to work everything inside it from the inside out and then go on to the outside. Okay? So you're doing correct. First step is write down the problem. Alright, now, remember what I said. Anytime you have brackets, you have to work everything inside the brackets completely before you can go outside the brackets. 14 divided, well first, do I multiply, do I multiply, do I add, or what do I do first? I do the parentheses, okay? Parentheses, this is the first thing I do. 14 divided by seven is? Is what? Two. Two times three is? Six. And I got 6 plus 2 times 8. What do I do first? 6 plus 2 or 2 times 8? 2 times 8, two times eight is 16. 16 plus 6 is 22. Okay? So out of all this right here, what did I get? 22. But I'm not done, am I? No. It says I want you to take the answer in the brackets and divide it by 11. So I've got 22 divided by 11 equals 2. Okay. So remember, anytime you have brackets, you do what's inside the brackets first, and then go to the outside of the bracket. What do I do first? Do I subtract? Do I multiply? Or do I add? <coughs> My parentheses, which means I subtract. 16 minus 9 is. Seven. So now my problem says 18 plus 7 times 4. Okay? This is what I meant by rewrite. Each time you do something, rewrite it. 7 times 4 is? Or do I do 18 plus 7 is 25? 
multiply. Yeah, because here you got addition and multiplication. What do we say comes first? Multiplication. multiplication. 7 times 4 is 28. 28 plus 18 is? 46. 46. Okay, that was the first one. Now the second one was a little more difficult, but not that hard. Okay, the second one, what do I do first? 18 plus 13. So do I subtract? This or do I subtract this or do I multiply? Or? Yeah, you do your what's in your parentheses? So 18 minus 13 is five. Five. So I'm going to rewrite it. Two times five with 11 on the outside minus what's four times two? Eight. Eight. So you just reduced your whole problem to that much. Now, do I multiply or subtract? Five? Multiply. Two times, two times five, five is ten. Minus eight. Now, 10 minus 2, 8 is? 2. two. two. And then I multiply that times 11, which equals? 22. 22, which is your final answer. So as long as you do it in the correct order, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract, you'll get it right every time. Problem here. What do I do first? 10 minus 7. Okay, you're telling me I do 10 minus 7 first, so 10 minus 7 is 3. And I'm going to rewrite 3 times 3, and then my bracket 4, plus, plus 22. Yeah, 11 times 2 is 22. So all you did is take care of the what first? Parentheses. Parentheses. Are there any exponents? No. No. So now we got to work on our multiplication. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus nine. Okay, so we took care of our multiplication. Is there any division? No. No. What do I do next? 9 plus 22. 9 plus 22 is? 31. And then what do I do last? 31 times 4 is? 124. So as you can see, first thing I did was my parentheses. There were no exponents. I multiplied inside my parentheses. I added inside my parentheses. And when I got my final answer for my parentheses, and my brackets, then I went outside my brackets and multiplied again. Okay? But in order for you to use the brackets, you got to do everything inside the brackets first, right? Then you can go outside the brackets. Do you understand? Alright, on this problem, it's a little different from any of them we've done today. Okay, on this one, we have a parenthesis, so we do it first. What's our parenthesis? 6 minus 4. Okay, what's 6 minus 4? 2. 2 squared. And then we're going to divide our answer by 3. Okay, now, we did our parentheses. Are there any exponents? Yes. Yeah, this 2 right here is an exponent. What's 2 squared? 4. Okay, so I've got 5 plus 4. Okay, what's 5 plus 4? 9. And then my last step is divide to do what? Divide by 3, which is? 3. 3. So your whole answer is? 3. 3. All right, so today you learned had to take exponents and parentheses and multiply and divide all in the same problem and come up with the correct answer using the what? Order of operations. Order of operations.